Please stop smoking, Ms. Atkinson. <clears throat> you are in court. In the process of electronically signing and filing an opposed murder complaint. Proceed with arraignment. We can proceed with arraignment, Judge. He understands the charge of maximum penalty. Understanding that when we were the criminal complaint, he does understand the charge of the possible penalty. He will plead not guilty. Not guilty. We will be entered on your behalf. You are entitled to a jury trial. You will be entitled to a speedy trial. Should you request one? There shouldn't be a lot of discovery. You should be able to start and work on any type of resolution. I, I'd like a quick turnover, Judge. What? I ask for a quick turnover, please. It won't take us long. We know what's going on in this case. I mean, I can do as quick as May 15th at 10. That's probably too quick. Thank you, though. I could do your June 19th at 1. That's fine. June 19th at 1 p.m. We'll have a status. Uh, we will see you then, Mr. Wellman. You can come up and get your notice and you're free to go. And Judge, I just want to make a record in this case. I was appointed, but under the circumstances, I may be a witness as to Mr. Wellman's understanding of the deadline. So if the case looks like it's moving to trial, I may be filing a motion to withdraw. And I just wanted to put that out there that this is not going to be a last minute thing. But I'm going to help Mr. Wellman for now because it might be very simple. Thank you. I appreciate that, Mr. Chapman. Thank you for putting that on the record. I don't foresee this one going to trial. All right. Just making sure it's out there. All right. Thank you. I have Mr. Corbyn ready, Judge. All right, Mr. Murphy's ready. All right, we'll do Mr. Murphy. We'll go on the record in matter 23 CF14, State of Wisconsin versus Terrell Murphy. The state appears through District Attorney Jane Trenton in person. We have Mr. Murphy appearing by video conferencing in custody at the um, Polk County. Polk County Jail. Sorry. Please stop smoking, Ms. Atkinson. <clears throat> you are in court. You're not in a bar. You're not out having fun. You are in court. Record in the matter 23 CF. 03, 23TR09, 23TR10, State of Wisconsin versus uh, Angela Atkinson. The state appears through District Attorney James Renicky in person. Ms. Atkinson appears by video conferencing. Her attorney, Adam Benson, appears in person. We're set here today in these matters for status conferences. Mr. Benson, please update the court. Um, thank you, Your Honor. We don't have an agreement yet, and I believe my client was going to look into some sort of counseling, uh, which would then the district attorney would make some kind of a uh, better offer perhaps to resolve the matter. So I don't know where she is on that. Ms. Atkinson, have you looked in, in into any AODA counseling or anything of that nature or um, treatment? And you're muted. Star six. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I've never done this before, Judge. Sorry. Um, I can certainly tell. <laughs> um, I don't, I'd have to do it in this county because I live in Rice Lake. So I don't know what, who to call. Or call what the Rice Lake call. It's not Rice Lake, but Barron County. And you can talk to, you can say, I need to talk to somebody about the AODA programming. I need, and they can give you guidance. Or somebody at the okay. Department of Health and Human Services can probably give you some type of guidance. Or you call okay. any type of, um, you can Google AODA for Barron County, and uh, it should pull something up. Okay. I, I believe the offer was to plead to the, basically the, the felony count as is, and, and, and I'm not sure if it's both sides free to argue or for probation, but we did make an offer anyway. Plead to the felony possession of meth and uh, free to argue. So. And I may have been emailing with a ADA Schmidt as well. I'm not certain. So I don't want to undercut either one of them. So. I am yeah, I guess giving I... a little bit of time for her to be able to see if she's going to look into treatment, et cetera, and see if there could be a potential uh, counter offer. Um, but I'm not going to give it too much time because we have to get the matters moving. Mr. Benson, let's get you scheduled for a status conference block. I could do July 13th at 10. Does that work? Yes. Can I do it at, at Zoom too? Ms. Atkinson, stop talking. Mm -hmm. I'll let oh. you know when to talk. Okay. Uh, Your Ms. Honor, I have, a, I have a court trial in uh, Balsam Lake that morning that I'm scheduled for. I could do July 20th at 9.30. That works, Your Honor. All right. Well, we're still on the record. Ms. Atkinson, I'm going to go over a few things. If I do graciously and leniently allow you to appear by Zoom, you may not move anywhere. Once you are there, either your, either your camera is on or it is black until I call your case. You do not 
walk around. You do not smoke. You do not drink. You do not eat. You do. You just sit there patiently waiting for your court trial. You do not speak unless I speak to you and ask you a question. Unless you need to speak with your attorney or you have a question, you can signify this by, excuse me, judge. Um, and then I will uh, see if you need to uh, have something addressed. Otherwise, it must be an in-person appearance. Zoom is a privilege. It is not a right. And the fact that everything is moving to Zoom is kind of frustrating because, honestly, this is the legal system. And it makes it very difficult to have court when we have Zoom. So if you wish to appear by Zoom at that next hearing, you may do so. However, you must follow those rules. Do you understand? Yes, Judge, I understand. All right. Thank you. Bond continues. Okay. We will see you then. Uh